I Okay, understood. Can anybody else you want to say something? How to solve it? You have to raise your hand, right? Who raised it? Ah, tell me. Same thing, sir. I want to try that. Initial velocity is x, final velocity should be 
zero. See the last few questions are difficult. I can understand. Oh. Fine. Now I will be using b square equal to u square plus 2as again. v is 0, u is x square and a is this. So 2a, 2 times x square by 2d. This into s. A out. See, I am just following whatever is coming. Okay, there is nothing. You may feel that it looks, it looks little bit involved. I mean, so many brackets and things. But then, is there something which is out of the box? No. Okay. So you can cancel out x square. You will get s in terms of d. Okay. If it is 0, I will put it x square this side minus x square equal to this. But then x square is gone. Okay? Understood? So s, the problem is you are not writing down. Please write down and solve for s. Please write down. Get the value of s. Quickly, get the value of s in terms of t. Don't just stay there in the board. So whatever S you get, divide that with D, you get number of times. Yes or no? D is the distance of one plank. And S is the total distance for the measure travel.
So those who uh, who want to practice more, please solve other exercises. It will really ease up your workload later on. Okay. We'll discuss it later. Okay. Now. Okay. So if you have any other doubt, please uh, WhatsApp me. I'll send it to you, or uh, we can discuss it uh, over the WhatsApp because. We can't spend one and a half hour just on discussing a particular homework. All right. So let us start the last topic of this chapter, which is circular motion. Okay. We'll be done with this topic in half an hour, and then afterwards we'll take a small break, and then we'll have a test. Okay. The test will be for one hour, and after the test, we'll discuss the test also. That will again take half an hour. Understood? All right. Please note down circular motion. Note down circular motion. This is the uniform circular motion and 
and this is non uniform circuit motion. It is moving with respect to edge or not? 
it is moving with respect to edge. Are you getting it? Now, is distance of the edge is fixed or not? It is fixed. Okay. So even the center is moving in a circle with respect to edge. Very difficult to visualize, but it is true. But this is not in our syllabus. In our syllabus, the fixed point is always at rest. But just that I am telling you that the fixed point need not be at rest. Huh. Body is moving above the beam, or is it called rest? Body is moving at the point. Uh -huh. Move it. I didn't understand. If a body is moving at one point, it's rest. Uh -huh. Then is it called rest? Like so spinning, spinning, spinning at one point, like it's still rotating. Uh -huh. but it's not moving back or forth, so it's a counted as rest. But it's still at the same point. Yeah, yeah. So that see the thing is, you, you're taking an example of tau, right? So this this is spinning like this. So how it is different from a fan? Same thing, right? Understood? So it's at rest. Oh, what is at rest? No. No. The top is not at rest. They are, see the thing is when you're looking at an example of a top or a fan. Let's take a fan. Fan is similar to this. Fan. You do you think that all of the particles are having same velocity? No, particle here is higher velocity. Then near the center, if you go, velocity decreases. Center is almost at rest. So different particles are moving differently. Fine, but all of them are moving with respect to that fixed point at the center in a circle. All the points. Getting it? Sit down. Uh, you have uh, asked an interesting question. Let me explain it. Yeah. Suppose this is a fan, okay, this fan has four blades, okay, now this point, suppose this fan rotates, this point 1, 2, 3, 4, this is initially, suppose this fan rotates by 90 degree, so this point 1 where it will go, it will go to 2, yes or no, so it will become 1 will come here, 2 will come here, 3 will come here, and here it will come 4. Yes or no? It has rotated. So point number one has traveled this much, isn't it? This middle point has traveled that much. This one has traveled that much. This one has traveled this much. In the same time or lesser time? Yeah. Same time. So who is traveling more distance at the same time? The tip. The tip has to move faster because tip is traveling more distance. Getting it? So when you are um, looking at some object, a bigger object which is rotating, all the points are moving at different different speeds, but not in our syllabus. Even the top is such example. Okay? We, our focus is just one point moving in a circle. So there is no confusion. Getting it? But when you take an example of fan, all the points are moving in a circle with different speeds. Getting it? Okay? Any other doubt? Any other doubt? Okay, now draw a circle like this. Draw a circle. Radius is R. Radius is R. Okay? Now, if if uh, uniform speed is u, if u is a uniform speed, you have to tell me how much time it will take to complete one revolution. To complete one revolution, how much time it will take? How much time will it take to complete one revolution?
by you. Now tell me one thing, is there an acceleration? Think about it and tell me. Acceleration is zero or not? How many of you say acceleration is zero? You don't have any opinion? Zero. Zero. Acceleration is zero? Okay. Put your hands down. The answer is it is not zero. What is acceleration? Okay, so perpendicular directions, 
two directions are there, upwards and downwards. Which direction it will be? Towards the center or away from the center? Towards the center. You are pulling it always towards the center so that it become, becomes a circular motion. What will happen if you don't pull it? It just fly away like that. It will just fly away. So you have to pull it towards the center so that it turns this way. And then you keep on pulling it towards the center. Then, on, then only it will make a circular motion. Otherwise, if you if you start if you stop applying force, the particle will go tangentially. Do you understand this thing? Suppose you are tying a string with a stone and you rotate like this and the string breaks. The stone will just fly away tangentially or not? And it will hit someone if somebody is there. So, the thing is that why you need string? Why do you think you need a string? To apply a force to have the acceleration which is required to move in a circle. Are you getting it? All of you please listen again. Why you need a string when you are rotating a stone in a circle? To apply force on the stone? To apply force on the stone? So that it creates the acceleration which is required to change the direction of velocity. Getting it? Getting it? Now tell me other example of circular motion. Any example? No, give me a day to day life example of very very common example. Frisbee moves also, no? it moves also. Tell me an example. Microwave. Okay, yeah, you know Earth. Be 
of force towards this center. Otherwise, circular motion, even if it is uniform, is not possible. Understood? Okay? But the kind of numericals will be asked will be very straightforward. They will be asking you find the time it takes to complete one revolution. Or suppose I ask you, write down a numerical, please. Write down. Just one final numerical, then we take a test. A way and then test. The numerical is this, that an object is moving with with constant speed of constant speed of 10 by pi meter per second about a circle of radius 10 meters understood the question? 1 dividing by pi so that when you multiply 2 pi pi get cancelled away ok you need to find time you need to find time how much time will it take so that so that the angle of revolution is 120 degree you understood this? if it, wrote, if it takes full circle the angle is 360 this much is 180. This much is 180. This much is again 180. Do you know this or not? Okay. No, actually, I I teach 11 times 12, so at times I don't know how much is already taught to you in until okay. Anyways, find out the time it will take to complete 120 degrees. Please do it quietly and raise your hands if you can.
Yes or no? All, all of you agree this? So 120 degrees is how many? How much length? 2 pi r divided by 360 into 120 which is 2 pi r divided by 3. Yes or no? So this much distance the object will travel? Or you can see the graphical also. Please speak by what is your name? Oh, he will What is your name? Huh? Don't talk here and there. This is a full circle, right? Suppose the finest starts from here. I am asking you till here. This is 120 degrees. Understood? So you can see that entire circle you can divide into three parts of 120, 120. Okay, so if total length of the circle is 2 pi r, this 120 degree segment will have a length of 2 pi r divided by 3. Right? So you got the distance traveled is 2 pi r divided by 3 and speed is 10 meter per second. Come here. 10 pi meter per second. Right? So 2 pi r divided by 3 divided by the speed. Okay? Now r is how much? r is 10, 2 pi r divided by 3 divided by 10 pi. So 10 pi goes away, you get 2 by 3 seconds. Understood? Okay? So we will take a quick break of 2 minutes.